Well, I'm out in the garage today and I'm going to change the pulley on my Pro Charger, so I thought I'd just go ahead and show that. It's uh, fairly simple, but there's a couple tricks that might make things go easier. I found the easiest way to take the bolt loose is with an impact. And then uh, when it comes to torquing the bolt with the new pulley on, a uh, strap wrench comes in real handy. And it's still a little bit tricky when you're doing it by yourself. It really helps if you've got two people, but we'll see how it goes today by myself out here. Thing I've found when taking these pulleys off is it really helps to heat the pulley. I just kind of heat the middle of it and keep going and tr trying it and heating it some more and trying it until I can eventually it'll slide off real easy. Just a little bit of pressure with the pry bar, not much at all. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, heat it up, and we'll just see if we can get it off there. So we'll give it another try before we get out another bottle. And it's starting to come loose. I want to put some gloves on because that's hot, obviously. Just about off and just losing a little leverage with that pry bar. Okay, so I couldn't quite get it all the way after I ran out of gas. So I'm gonna, I got a new bottle. I'm going to heat it up just a little bit more and get that last little bit off. Pop that pulley off.
Okay, so you see that took a little bit of work, just heating that up and working it a little bit of time. And then uh, when I get that off, I'm going to go ahead and remember any spacers you have, how they were orientated on the pulley. And I'm going to go ahead and clean that shaft up a little bit just to, so the next one goes on, maybe it'll come off a little easier. But they typically take a little bit of heat, a little bit of work to get them off. But if you know the trick, it comes off fairly easily. Okay, Procharger supplies a new bolt and a washer and a keyway with the uh, new pulley. And these are a pretty good quality bolt that you can probably reuse them. But since they send you a new one anyway, might as well use it. Go ahead and put a new one in with it. So we're going to take the pulley and just line up the keyway. We're going to kind of work it on there. It's pretty tight. We can use the bolt. We get enough on there to uh, use the bolt to pull it on. We'll be okay. I'm just going to lightly tap it a little bit. And get a little bit more thread engagement on that bolt when I start on. Kind of make sure the pulley started square. Once we get the pulley on far enough and the uh, bolt with enough thread engagement to uh, use it to pull the pulley on, we'll go ahead and start tightening it down. And you can feel it, you know, you don't want to have a lot of resistance. If you feel a lot of resistance or something, then stop and kind of figure out what's going on. But it's just nice and smooth pulling the pulley straight on. Until it gets up to any spacers or anything you've got underneath it that you matched up with the pulley you took off so you got good belt alignment. So now we've got it fairly tight and our spec calls for 60 foot pounds. So 60 foot pounds doesn't seem like much but when you're trying to hold that pulley with one hand and uh, the torque wrench with the other on a rotating object it's a lot tougher than it sounds. So I'm going to kind of clear some stuff out of the way in case I slip or anything because I've had that happen before so just speaking from experience I'm going to clear some stuff that might get thrown on the floor if I slip okay another thing I want to mention is after using the bolt to pull the pulley all the way on I went ahead and took it back off just the bolt so I could put some blue Loctite on it and I recommend and Procharger recommends the blue Loctite but I use the bolt if necessary. I don't always have to use the bolt to pull the pulley on, but sometimes, most of the time, I do. When I do, I go ahead and put use the bolt and then take it back off and put the Loctite on before I start torquing it. So what I do is I, I start with the lower torque setting and kind of just do a little bit at a time because this is can be difficult to hold this strap wrench and torque this bolt at the same time. So as you can see, that's pretty difficult, and I've still got some more to go. So we'll turn it up a little bit. Just kind of find the angle, and it'd probably help if I had a longer handle on this strap wrench. But I've actually had a longer one that had a uh, 
weaker strap and it actually broke the strap on me. That's when things went flying, like I mentioned earlier. So I, that's why I moved everything out of the way. Okay. So that's pretty tough and an extra set of hands would definitely help. Wow. Well, we got it, but that that is definitely tricky. Doing that by yourself, and it, it'd be a good idea in a situation off the car like this to have someone else holding the strap wrench and kind of, I think it'd be going a lot smoother. That was tough.